Hi, here I have a MacBook Pro A1502 and that is the model. So if your battery is not holding the charge, you have the free time, maybe span a use full assembly keyboard replacement, meaning that the keyboard, trackpad, palm rest, and the battery is a full assembly, like one piece together like this, for a fraction of cost of, I don't know, maybe like a $30. To a fifty dollars, you can get your MacBook Pro back running again without throwing it out, right? So if you want to keep your old computer running because the battery is dead, then changing out the uh, replacement is one of the way to do it. I'm gonna jump right into it. That's what I'm gonna do for this computer because of the age of the computer, the battery is not holding the charge. Instead of wasting throwing the computer away to the dumpster just spend like about $50 or less and get it repaired maybe hopefully last me a couple more years to go I would say at least two two years or so I'm using a Pentolo P5 you have to remove all the screws to get into the computer remove the back cover Transfer the entire motherboard, the screen over to the replacement part. Okay, remove the back cover. You can see the entire internal part of the uh, computer. So the battery is kind of swollen, as you can see some of it on on this side. Anyway, um, it's time for a replacement. So go ahead and disconnect the. Uh, battery connector just have to lift it straight up to disconnect that I get a T5 the importance is the hard drive I just want to make sure that the hard drive preserve the data and everything in there Connect the speaker, peel back that little plastic, flip the connector open, I'm going to slide the flex cable down towards myself. DC jack, slide it to the right, LCD screen, flip the little clipper open, slide the cable to the right, remove the little bracket, Disconnect the Wi-Fi. Using a P5, a T5. Remove that screw. T8. Open up the computer and slide the hinge out. So open all the way to the back and the hinge will just pop right out. T8. 
Okay, at this point, I like to continue removing the motherboard and transfer it over. This is the uh, DC jack power to connect to the adapter. Remove that. What I recommend to do is to take a picture of it right before all this so that you can make yourself a reference while you're removing the stuff, especially the screws, disconnecting cables. You know where to put them back later on. That is the speaker. Lift it straight up. This connector here, push it to the left. Flip the clipper open and slide that CPU fan away from you, the flex cable. This is the keyboard. Open up the clipper and slide it down. So the entire motherboard will just slide slide out to the left. Okay, so this whole full assembly keyboard and the battery, I can go ahead and throw it away. I don't need that. When you slide it in, make sure that this USB, that little metal bracket there, is slide underneath the computer, not above, but underneath. Was it here or here? I kind of forgot. I think it's here. Okay, so let's hold this all together, making sure all that flex cables. Oh, it looks like the guy who sold me the used keyboard, one of the cables that goes on top here is broken. I wonder what this is. Okay, I just need to continue with it. Let's go ahead and finish it up. And I'll 
find out later on. Again, the same drill, you need to slide that um, the metal bracket underneath the computer, not above it. Make sure all the flex cables are sitting above the computer, the motherboard. Double check. I wonder why this is so hard to go in. It should be sitting flush. Yep, right now it's more sitting flush to it. Okay. Okay, looks good. This flex cable here has to be slided back in. Sorry about that. I was trying to focus on that. It's so hard to get it in.
Okay, once that is done, slide this one back in. LCD screen making sure that the hinge is open once the hinge is open you just have to slide it in like such cable on top of it while you're holding the screen put one of the screw in here so that we can close the screen and finish up the repair A mistake on this technically you have to put in the Wi-Fi bracket first before you put the screws in so that it holds them together I never be able to get the, the rubber to put back together all the time it's just very difficult for me but if you're able to do it you can just put it back together otherwise it is okay just able to somehow get it going aha uh -huh, voila hard drive is the last I know that one of the cable is broken, that cable which is on the top right corner uh, looks like the replacement keyboard that comes with it, it, it forgot to uh, maybe disconnect that and they, they remove it, they broke it so whatever reason it is missing that cable I wonder what cable that is. I think it's either backlighting on the keyboard or microphone is one or the other. Um, but I'll continue with it because the main concern is the battery. Uh, not much so about the backlighting on a keyboard or a microphone. Uh, the use on the computer is pretty straightforward. Nothing fancy. Just to browse email, check email and browse the internet. Alright, I'm going to put all the screws back together and that should be it. 
if you have any question comment down below thanks for watching until next time bye now